So the past 24 hours in our market has been looking really amazing guys. The price action has been really impressive, right? But is it for real or not? Let's try to find that out from all the futures, open interest coming from multiple exchanges. And also guys, we'll talk about the long and short ratios on all the perpetual contracts on the futures market. That could be a little alarming to you. And finally guys, we'll talk about the technical focus focus as well in this video. Of course guys, this is certainly a TA channel, right? So how can we not talk about goddamn charts? So guys, without any further ado, let's jump onto the first data coming from coinglass.com. So let's focus on this piece of information right here. What we can see is that the trend has started picking up guys. Just focus on this entire region right here. We can see that the open interest has started building up for real guys. Now essentially you can compare this entire data with your normal price action behavior as well. You can see guys, if you just run a simple grind line, you can see that it's kind of breaking out guys. You can see that the price action is kind of breaking out. The open interest trend is on a breakout, which means that all of these moves come in all of the crypto assets are for real guys believe it or not all this leg to the upside is for real and maybe we could be looking at new all-time high coming in on crazy altcoins guys this is something that is well to be honest with you surprising for me as well but until the trend of the open interest is like this things are looking nice for most of the crypto market as a whole guys okay now let's focus on this piece of information right here guys let's get rid of everything and let's compare binance futures open interest to CME's future open interest, right? So let's talk about these open interest right here. Guys, what do we see? We see that the slope is a little aggressive in terms of the open interest coming from the CME's, whereas the slope on the Binance open interest is not that inclined to the upside, guys. This means that this interest, this open interest is coming in on the futures trading platforms, on professional futures trading platforms, rather than your retail trading platform, which is Binance, which means that guys look, real money is behind this move to the upside as of now, right? We will talk about some key price levels on Bitcoin and Ethereum and key invalidations points as well, because that is something that we have to be aware of. Otherwise, most of the market landscape is looking completely fine in, in terms of the open interest on multiple exchanges, guys. You can see that the professionals have started getting long on the market as a whole. Now, what is happening in retail exchanges on crypto markets? Guys, just check this one out right here. The percentage on longs on Binance, FTX, Bybit, Bybit once again, BTC, USD pairs, most of these are long, guys. Look, we can see that the long and short ratio is certainly inclined towards the long end, guys. We can see that the futures are certainly picking up guys we can see that more than 50% open interest is towards the long side of things and look guys since we are entering a weekend right now it kind of makes it a little difficult to talk about this entire data right here but honestly guys what I feel is that the attention the mo most of the attention is supposed to be diverted towards the open interest the general open interest the long and short ratios however can differ even if let's just say two to three million dollars worth of long exposure enters the market guys we're dealing with five to six billion dollars in daily trading volume on just one single exchange and we are still talking about five to six million dollars in long exposure kind of flipping out the long and short ratio which is why we can certainly dig deep into this data but it's not as relevant as compared to what we saw on the open interest all right guys so now we're going to be jumping into the technical hocus focus for the day Guys, let's just follow from the previous analysis right here. We're looking at multiple candle closures happening above the upper guppy indicator, guys. Remember, I was talking about this fact that we are interacting with a very key critical level on Bitcoin. And as the time progresses, the market is proving itself to be bullish, guys. Look, the thing is that we're kind of clearing this top end to the upside, which means that, yes, this potential move or this potential breakout is for real as of now, guys. Now, one more daily candle. Uh, we just have 12 hours to close on this. This candle most likely we do close above this entire guppy region right here which is going to be confirming a small term trend continuation to the upside, right? You're looking at potential price targets coming at forty-seven to forty-eight thousand dollars flat on Bitcoin, maybe before the new weekly candle opens itself. Now, guys, the thing is that we got to be cautiously bullish in the market. The price action is telling us that everything is simply bullish in the market, but you got to be cautious on key levels, guys, because you know the deal. If Bitcoin and Ethereum invalidates some key levels to the downside, most of the crypto market simply pukes, guys. Most of the fucking crypto assets, most of the altcoins will simply puke if Bitcoin and Ethereum lose key levels 
to the downside so for btc right here i'm going to be putting a lot of focus into this entire wick low right here which was a little retest of 42.5 thousand dollars ranges as a whole guys we saw right here what happened right we simply wigged all the way towards 42,700 regions and we are simply recovering very very nicely this price action kind of makes some bullish in the market in the small to mid time frames honestly guys and the four hour time frame right here is giving us a very very clear picture that even the rsi the strength is kind of telling us that look we're going to be staying strengthful in the market until you are looking at such RSI postures with key levels being maintained to the upside. We are most likely going to be continuing this trend to the upside. So the short answer to this entire technical analysis right here is that yes, guys, we're looking bullish in the market. Yes, higher probability lies towards the fact that most of the long positions are going to work out in the market as a whole, guys, until Bitcoin is looking clear above $42,700 for good, right? You can see that the trend is formulating right here and so far so good, guys, so far so good. The only little thing that is a little concerning to me as a trader is the fact that we are doing this right at the beginning of a weekend once again. So look, guys, it's my own data. I keep on collecting data. If I have longed Bitcoin on weekends, most of the times positions have gone against me. Try to find out these kind of facts in the market. This is going to give you an edge, guys. You can see that most of the weekend price action is not really regarded by the professional traders because CMEs are going to be closed, guys. Fucking CMEs are going to be closed on Sundays and Saturdays for that matter, right? Because professional traders do have a balance of life. Most of the crypto traders are simply wrecked. And most of the... <laughs> Most of the crypto traders are not organized, guys. Remember, I'm going to be telling you one simple thing. Even if you're organized, even if you're organized in your general life, you're going to be outperforming 90% of the retail crypto market as a whole, guys. I just, I'm not going to lie about that fact. It's just, it's, just, it's just obnoxious to think about these things. Okay, now on with the technical analysis right here. You can see that the 4R is meeting the trend. And look guys, emergency signs should start ringing if we start wicking below this price point right here. But it's going to be happening on a weekend if it happens, right? So in the first and the most part of the downside, it's going to be a buying opportunity, guys. Any price action that nears $43,000 flat is going to be an opportunity, guys. An opp opportunity which is going to be happening across all the altcoins as well, right? So these are your key levels to be really, really cautious about. And to the upside, guys, look, you know the deal. We have been talking about some key levels that we have been combining with VPVR as well. We've been combining with key price points as well. You can see that major volume node is at $48,000 flat. And that has been our ultimate upside target ever since we started this move to the upside, guys. So what happens on forty-eight dollars to $50,000 is going to be very, very critical once again. But most likely, we do proceed all the way towards these price points. Now, even if we combine this entire down leg with some Fibonacci levels right here, the 3-2 extension is coming at the highest volume node. And once you're able to establish a good looking support above $48,000, look guys, we're going to be teleporting all the way towards 58,000 regions. It's going to be a no brainer for the market itself. You can see that the volume node is starting to shrink, guys. We have a clear cut range to capitalize on. Once again, remember we were talking about this thing when we were bullishly engulfing above this price point. Now we are simply extending our leg all the way towards the higher volume nodes. Yes, we had turbulence in the small to mid time frames and yes we did not violate any key levels to the downside so up and onwards guys the price action structure is bullish so we can expect continuation leg let's talk about the landlord of the fucking altcoins in the market guys remember if ethereum is going to puke in the market most of your altcoin positions i would say 99 percent of your altcoin positions are going to look like shit you know the deal right here if ethereum loses 2950 regions to the downside on a four hour trending basis that is when most of the altcoins are going to be obliterating some key levels to the downside guys so the hell we fucking go once again if ethereum loses 2950 so this is the key level that you have to be really really cautious about guys and up and onwards like i mean daily time frame on ethereum is also looking nice with the rsi being above 60 things can't get better guys look the thing is that i can simply compare this entire piece of price action right here to something that was happening here or here right let me just demarcate this entire zone guys this is something that we're looking at and this is again this is something we're looking at once again right this entire piece of price action right here the only reason why i say this is because the rsi signature is just quite similar guys the rsi signature is quite similar we're looking at good relative strength in the market we're looking at bitcoin holding key levels which is why this entire price action is kind of like highly 
comparable to this and this right here guys now the rsi is also looking nice which is why until eth <laughs> is holding 2950 you're going to be targeting these price points right here guys the last breakdown was at 38000 uh, sorry once again we're not talking about bitcoin right here ethereum is way the fuck below 38000 so we're going to be talking about 3800 3900 dollars flat guys somewhere right beneath four thousand dollars is what we are going to be targeting towards guys with your key risk management below 29.50 it's going to be flat it's very very clear the price action is looking completely clear crazy amount of opportunities that we can simply capitalize on guys and remember even if you move uh, and remember guys even if you miss on some key moves in the small to mid time frames we have a whole trend in front of us. We can dig deep into the small time frames. We can change the time frames and we can trade with a bullish bias in the market right here because the market is very, very clear about the direction as of now, guys. The turbulence that was happening alongside the guppy indicator on Bitcoin is pretty much clear as of now, but still benefit of doubt in this entire range, guys. We got to clear $45,000 on a daily closing basis. And that is when on and upward we go to the upside guys up upside targets at $38,900 flat sitting with your 6 one extension on ethereum so we got a clear cut leeway to capitalize on for ethereum as well which is going to be a 20 percent leg to the upside remember guys the hierarchy remember the fucking hierarchy bitcoin takes a 10 percent leg up ethereum will take a 20 percent leg up and xyz shitcoin is probably going to do 10,000 x in the market guys holy fucking shit probably not <laughs> Probably not, probably not, but most of the altcoins are going to be doing 40% or 45 to 50% in the market as a whole, right? We'll talk about some key altcoins that are looking very, very nice in the market, but that is something that will unfortunately happen in the next video, guys. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like, bell, subscribe, and share as well, all the good things, guys. And I will catch all of you pretty soon. Bye for now.